finally, I am finished adding the command for the second command set. I can finally add more vehicles to my mod. Let's not forget to save it. No! My name is Yanis Yanguar, and in this video, I will show you how to debug your mod. Alright, so, when you get that error, that means, obviously, there's some error. <laughs> I mean, it's common sense. Um, so, this is actually pretty simple and you can anybody can do this it just it will take some more effort if you are not using um notepad plus plus like this so if you are using your regular notepad it'll be a lot harder to do so i highly recommend um doing this i mean obviously you can do it a different way with the regular pad it would just take longer so essentially what you got to do is you go to the map maker which is called uh world builder I actually have a updated version. There's a mod I recently uh, found has an updated version. I was seeing how of it works. I haven't really noticed that much of a difference, but I haven't really played with it that much. It seemed less buggy, but uh, maybe I'll uh, make a video later about map making. So first what you do is you open up World Builder and accept the terms, and this will actually debug your mod. So in this case, um, it'll bring up an assertion failure. Um, I don't know the full what everything this means, but some of it is pretty uh, straightforward. Um, I tried to fix this error. Um, I can't fix this error, so we're just going to ignore. Just always click ignore, and it'll go to the next error. So, as you as I uh, said, I finally added the command, the upgrade to have a second command set for, this is actually the command center um, for the boss general. Um, the mistake I actually made on purpose, it actually took effort to make this um, thing pop up, is I put a space right here and right here. So the error that will pop up, it says assertion failure, it says line 1523. This is the reason why I said to use Notepad++ because you'll come down and you can see it tells you that it is the boss general .ini and it is line 1523 the mistake is on. Um, in this case, obviously it's not going to tell you exactly what it is. You'll have to kind of like figure it out yourself, but in this case there should not be the uh, space in between. Um, and it'll, and then when you're, you don't have to do it, you know, you don't have to correct it as soon as this happens. Like you, you can go through all, all these prompts right here and then correct it or correct it as is, but you know, obviously you don't have to save it right now at the end of the day. So, um, go to line 1523 in this case, and we, uh, fix that one. And then, you know, we go to the, n the next error, which is, um, it's, Another, it's the reading error, so it's just going to do a few mistakes. Um, just how it works, and that's the major error. When it acts like that, the debugger um, automatically exits. It means that this is probably the main error that's preventing it from starting. At least I had the impression that that happens. I could be wrong. Um, it, you know, it could, you know, anything really but I as I said I don't fully understand it but it's really that simple um, and just to show you again um, since I fixed that mistake we will run the debugger again and it brings up that same error and there we go now as you uh, as I showed you I made the mistake in the second one um, now it says 1529 um, 1529 is again, there's, there's that space that I made as the error and you go like that, save it. Don't forget to save it. Don't forget to back up before you make any edits, um, and ignore the crash and it'll bring up uh, the reading error and that should exit out on itself just like that. And it's going to self terminate. Um, now, uh, as you saw, it brings up, it tells you what file it does, even the folder, 
and it tells you what line in that particular text file, the INI file. So as I, we saw, it was the 1529 and the 1523. Um, and just to show you, um, you know, I don't have that error anymore. Um, I'll start. Yeah, and there we go. No more mistakes. If you got any questions, feel free to ask below. If I think of anything else, maybe I'll make a secondary video. Otherwise, I just opened up a Discord. If you have any questions, you, we can chat it out. You can even talk to each other, you know, c collaborate some ideas. You know, maybe you learned something that I don't know. Um, I would assume that. You know, somebody knows how to do the map editor better than me, or makes it, knows how to make uh, 3D units, which I had known nothing about. Um, so maybe I'll see you there.